I had a great question in. We're going to call the lady Linda just to sort of preserve her anonymity. But the question was, I'm thinking of putting an offer in on a property which has been sold by the modern method of auction. Should I get somebody to look at the legal pack before I make my bid? Or should I get somebody to look at the legal pack once my bid has been accepted? Now, this is the problem with the modern method of auction. The problem is this. If you happen to be the successful bidder, you are expected to pay a non-refundable deposit. Now, depending upon the value of the property, that could be as much as £6,000. For example, I bought a property a couple of years back under modern method of auction terms, and I actually paid £42,000 for the property, but the non-refundable deposit was £6,000. Now, that's in addition to the purchase price, by the way. So, in effect, I paid £48,000 for the property. We will come back to that because there's implications. So, if you wait until you are the successful bidder before you actually get somebody to look at the legal pack, the chances are that you're going to pay your £6,000 deposit or whatever it may be, and £6,000 is probably the lowest amount you're going to pay. If you then find something in the legal pack which means that you do not want to buy the property, you've lost that deposit, unless you can show to the auctioneer that they shouldn't have accepted your bid or marketed the property or whatever, and that it's not your fault. But I would say that they would have a very strong case to argue that if you find something after your bid has been accepted and you haven't done your due diligence, then it is your fault. It'd be an interesting legal challenge. And I'm not a lawyer and I'm not quite sure who would win, but it's not something I'd want to take on because the only winners in that are going to be the lawyers and their fees. So should you have the title deeds and the legal pack checked before you make your bid? Well, yes, but here's the next problem. That's going to cost money. I mean, that could be several hundred pounds to a solicitor to go through a fairly basic legal pack. If they find something at that point and you decide not to buy the property, then you could argue, well, OK, I've saved a load of money, which I might have lost by buying the wrong property. If they find that the property is fine and you then go forward and put your bid in, you're not guaranteed to be the winning bidder. So there's all sorts of problems. It's not just about the legal pack, by the way. The same arguments would apply with whether you have a survey. And of course, you've got to line up your, your um, finance as well. So that could be another cost as well. So there's that uncertainty. I hope you found this video useful and informative. And if you did, then please come over to my website, www.thepropertyteacher.co.uk where you'll find loads more great property related resources, including free special reports to download and my best selling series of ebooks, which includes the Successful Property Renovators Workshop, 63 Common Defects in Investment Property and How to Spot Them. And if you're just starting out in property or if you want to grow your portfolio, you may be particularly interested in the Successful Property Investors Strategy Workshop, in which I'll take you through exactly how I started and built my property portfolio, starting literally with none of my own money and how I built a por portfolio of two million pounds worth of property in just four years. And that was starting from scratch. I'll take you through everything that I did right so that you can copy me and do the same. And I'll also show you everything that I did wrong so that you can avoid the mistakes that I made and so that you can progress in property and be far more successful far more quickly than I ever was. And this is based upon my own real life experience. And it took me about four years to actually work out how to do property investing properly. But in the 200 pages in the Successful Property Investors Strategy Workshop, I'm going to show you all of that four years knowledge condensed down so that you can use it immediately. And until next time, here's to successful property investing.